Uh, actually, I'm not going to do the whole intro because I think I literally do it in a, in a second here. Uh, I'm doing a recording over a recording just to provide you guys some context. Uh, this was a video dedicated to my first couple Survivor games that I did. I'm in rank just launched uh, last week. Um, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, anyways... Oh, they added this trailer. That's actually really dope. But uh, anyways, uh, as I was saying, uh, this video is pretty much just going over ranked. Uh, and the reason why I'm uploading it, even though it is a little outdated, is just because it actually shows you guys uh, how much you need to rank up, how much you uh, de-rank from like losing, uh, how much like the medals equate to like your wins and losses and uh, whatnot. So if you're interested in that, uh, you could just skim to the ends of the matches if you really like. But I just want to show these matches of what my uh, first Survivor games were like and rank so enjoy and i'll catch you guys in the next one and uh be nice to uh past iron he wasn't feeling that well what's going on guys we're gonna hear back with the roller breaker season five ranked video uh for today's video just want to show you guys uh my first uh couple matches in ranked of uh travel to breaker season five this was actually my very first game um that i played uh i think for this build i was running on uh, memories of battle um resistance and auto barrier i believe and um you're all going to pay and then i was running um charming pose which honestly not sure why <laughs> i probably should have bought a fake death or something but i had a charming pose for this game uh, i got very lucky in the first 30 seconds i found a golden level 3 key radar uh definitely did not see that coming but uh lo and behold there it is so pretty much my duty of this match was to uh find as many keys as i could that's exactly uh, what I ended up doing here. Um, so I grabbed that barrier there. So I forget if I have auto barrier. So I think the barrier there. I don't know. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. So I uh, paid a win to get my level one here. Because uh, again, my job is going to be uh, finding the keys for this match. So uh, the levels of this game was fairly varied. Fairly varied. I think um, I think I actually had some B players, uh, not just A. Noticed the key was on the ground, so I uh, fell in the little hole, and this guy ended up picking the key up for me. I kind of just wasted my time coming over here. But I go ahead and save this sieve. This game is moving very quickly. Um, someone actually opts to plant the key as E is being destroyed, which is uh, pretty ballsy. <laughs> Do respect it, though, because it allows uh, the SDM to keep its startup rate. So here, I'm, I really would like to try to get this key. Uh, I think I go the long way around. I think I should have went to the left, and I end up going to the right. So I think the, this key was in a cave. Uh, unfortunately, the key sends it does pick me up a little bit later. I was like, damn, I thought I dodged it. Um, I try to get this key, but unfortunately, I get the startup animation when the raider is like directly in front of me. A break strikes me. So at this point, I'm like, all right, bro. Like, am I going to risk my life for this key? I'm like, I don't think so. So I uh, deactivate my change, pop the soda, see if this guy follows me. He absolutely does. And I IT to uh, the survivor here. Also, I kind of didn't really mention, we kind of just like went right into this video. The reason why uh, there's post commentary for this gameplay and not like usual like live commentary is because uh, today, well technically yesterday the 10th, I caught a nasty stomach virus. I literally woke up like hours before work and i was just like i just felt really sick and i just vomited like the whole day it was awful it was awful right i didn't really end up feeling good uh like again i woke up at 5 a.m feeling sick and i basically felt sick from 5 a.m to like 9 p.m i finally felt better so that's why i'm doing post commentary for um both the raider rank matches and the rank matches in the future definitely it's going to be live commentary but just uh for these first ones, I just was not feeling up to it. Like, literally, as I'm recording this, I'm a little bit nauseous, but, like, not enough to where, like, I wouldn't be able to record. But my stomach's just kind of doing, been doing backflips this entire day. So I appreciate you guys, uh, you, know, uh, you know, having patience with me with there being no stream. I really would have liked to have streamed my first uh, ranked matches, but unfortunately, just uh, I was not up to streaming, dude. Just really not up to it. So uh, at this point, um, we have a player down. Goku like gets his level three. I'm thinking we're in a pretty good spot. Uh, because that means we gotta plant the D key. Uh, uh someone had time to throw his duty and playing it right away. So we're looking we're like we're looking to be in a really good spot right now. 
Uh, I'm pretty pretty well suited for uh, sodas. I don't have my level three dragon wow. change yet, but I'm on my way. Um, I unfortunately don't pick up the super transfer. I don't think anybody else does either. Um, so not sure what people are waiting for. I mean, here I was trying to get my level three. Uh, unfortunately, I don't get it. Maybe you know, maybe that was silly on me. Maybe I should just immediately went to the super time machine. But I was hoping to get my level three. But Predator just sweeps three people. Um, like it was nothing. I'm like, what the hell just happened? And uh, the game slowly but surely uh, starts to sift through our fingers <laughs> as uh, the match goes on. But we went from having like four players up to just me and one other guy. And I think I heavily, heavily misplayed here. What I should have done was just went immediately to the super uh, transfer. I was kind of hoping the other player would have went to it as I was fighting Goku Black. But I guess this guy wanted to be a good teammate, which I respect for sure. But I think in this moment in time, we really, really, really need the super transfer. I try to get it myself. But I have no active skills, um, and none of my passive skills are going to save me right here when he's like on me like this. So, I get cooked, and that's the game. Oh, <laughs> uh, this game, it just really fell apart really, really quickly. And the only reason why I'm including this match, even though we took an L, is just so you guys can see um, the level up system when it comes to ranked. So, this is a game where I, uh, we lost, so obviously I'm getting a bronze medal for battle results. So let's see uh, what other medals I get and how that impacts um, my rank. Oh, actually, do I even show it? I don't even know if I... <laughs> I think I was so pissed. I just, I think I just like went right through it. Okay, so you can slightly see it. Damn, I was salty as hell, bro. I was, I was just like, get me out, get me out. <laughs> uh, I was so tight, bro. I'm like my first rank game. That's, oh, okay. So I actually ranked up. And I got a silver medal, uh, a diamond, and a gold. And I actually ranked up in this game. Um, with two bronzes, by the way. So that's actually not that bad. The, the, the fact that I didn't rank down is actually pretty impressive. But keep in mind, this is uh, A rank. And these were the survivor levels. So yeah, we actually had a couple Cs in here. Uh, could have been like some people's like third or seventh like survivor game ever. So uh, yeah, that was the first game, and I'll show you guys uh, the next two. Technically not my, my following two. I don't know if I recorded every game, but at least the games that were like worthwhile to watch. So uh, I got two more matches for us to check out. Alrighty, so this was um, actually right after the Raider game um, that I had. That's uh, I'm not going to spoil it in case you didn't watch the Raider video or if this comes out first. But uh, this is right after that game. So in case you're curious of like the timeline of this, so we ended up actually going up against a Ginyu Force Raider, which is pretty rare. I feel like I've only ran into like, actually I probably ran into like less than 10 Ginyus this entire season. So the fact that like one of the only times I ran into him was in rank was pretty interesting. Because uh, if you looked at the battle results for uh, last season, Ginyus actually wasn't even that high to uh, my surprise. And I imagine a lot of others as well. So uh, this game, I kind of changed up my build a little bit. I forget exactly what skills I was running. But I was kind of just experimenting running a build where I had a lot of uh, evasive options. Because I feel like that's kind of what cocked me in that last match. That I didn't really have much to escape with that game. So I uh, opted to put on Instant Rise with Grapple and uh, Jocko Ship. And um, I feel like it was pretty decent. I feel like it was pretty decent. I, I forget what passives I'm running um, in this match. But I think I might have put on Time Patroller's Duty just in case. Because I think I might have had a match or two prior to this one for Survivor where uh, uh, people didn't have it. And it made things a little uh, difficult, so I just put it on. But that's where, like, it's getting a lot more difficult to, like, make the, like, best build. Uh, you know, the best build in Dragon Ball The Breakers. Now, obviously, uh, I'll probably make a video um, in a couple days because we're getting new transfers literally uh, tomorrow and probably, um, like, today as uh, you're watching. Well, I'm recording this on the 11th, so literally today we're supposed to get the transfer previews. The transfer is coming tomorrow on Friday. So I don't know when you guys are going to be watching this, but I'm just letting you know when I'm recording this. I'm recording this at like 1.20 on uh, the 11th. So uh, you'll probably see this like sometime next week. And then in terms of like making the best build like for survivors, I'll probably have a video about that next week. Or just some of the, the better builds. I feel like it's, it's, it's really hard to say like the best build, but you know, I'll probably have like the best versatile build, the best like fighter build. Uh, but here... I figured uh, throw some hands with uh, Goldo here since he's about to evolve. 
and hits me with a break strike. And someone actually pulls up, which is really nice. Lands a melee, and that allows me to get uh, my super in. And then I pop my instant rise so I can escape via my Jocko ship. And I made a pretty uh, successful escape. I'm really hoping that the team can kind of clean up and uh, take out Goldo here, but uh, believe it or not, I don't think they were able to. So I was a little tight about that. I'm like, bro, for real? Like, I, I think like maybe one or two melees and that would have like been his life and unfortunately i don't think they could seal the deal here but um at least we're doing okay on keys at least but to be fair i would have rather go though live and not have the entire team waste transformations because that's definitely happened in some matches yeah this guy popped his level too so he wasted it but is what is so here, this team was pretty friendly. They gave me all the balls, I think, is what ended up happening in this game, or they gave me a majority of them, which, again, y'all don't have to do. And keep in mind, not every character named Iron Kane is me. There could be players copying my fit and, like, saying my name, so you might not actually be me. I do appreciate it if you give me the balls, but you don't have to. Like, you really don't have to, right? Like, not every video I'm doing is a showcase. Or, like, not every video I'm doing, you know, requires, or requires the level 4, right? Alright, so, um... I land here just because uh, I feel like the key could potentially be in here. I get Vegeta gloves and I think I pop them on uh, this bitch ass Goldo. Oop, take him out, hate that guy. And then uh, it's like Recruit new. <laughs> I kill this BFF and he destroys B. So I think before I res this guy, I see if the key is in this area. And there's actually nothing um, in this house. And somebody else ends up finding a. Uh, the key. Uh, yeah, so I see somebody else is going for the res, and I'm not sure if Rakum is going to the body. So I kind of wait to see what he does. But yeah, I think I, uh, since I know the other guy's getting the res in, I, I think we just let him take care of it. So, at this point, I think I, uh, IT away to another area. <clears throat> Actually, no, I just, I don't think I waste my IT. Actually, let me turn my mic up a little bit. I wonder if I'm a little bit low. Well, so I am talking a little bit softly. Sorry. Hold it. Hope, uh, ooh, actually, never mind. I think I'm going to turn myself down a little bit. I thought I was quiet, but actually, I'm okay. So I Jocko ship over to this key. Oh, my God. Thank God that was a burp and not something else. All right. Um, so working on this key here with this uh, homie. And we're looking pretty good. Uh, Ginyu is still only level 2. Uh, we have some balls on us. And we only need to plant C's key. This guy drops me the balls. Or the ball that he had. Give him uh, a heal. And uh, someone else slammed on the key. And we're looking pretty good here. So I opt to uh, immediately go over to Super Time Machine. Just to get it cooking as fast as possible. I marked that Soda Machine just in case anybody uh, you know forgets that it's there. The only thing that's kind of stinky here is that a lot of us are low dragon change wise, so honestly getting level 4 would actually make a big uh, difference this match. This guy drops the ball, so now I have 4. And this guy uh, gives me 2. I think I actually forgot how to count in this game, and I thought I had 5 here. But I did have 6. So, um, we're cooking on the STM. Which is, I think, the best play here. Because, I mean, what else would we really be doing in this situation? I think we pretty much just get it to 50%. Just on all this working on it, which is pretty good. So at this point, I see that the Raider is coming. I IT over to this down player. And I see they got a Senzu here. Time is kind of of the essence at this time. Uh, typically, I would say not to waste the Senzu when you can get a resin guaranteed. But... At this time, I feel like, you know, with the Raiders throwing the Super Time Machine, with us running out of Dragon Changes, I feel like we kind of need all we can get. Pops, who actually got the last ball here, and again, I kind of forgot how to count. And I think they were trying to give me the ball here, and I was, uh, again, just assuming I had five. Uh, this could have been really bad if the Raider kind of focused me down, but luckily he chased this other guy. Uh, Fortunately, my Super Attack just missed, uh, just missed that uh, Jason Berger there. So Pops, who has the last ball... But uh, I actually uh, go over to play STN, not really realizing that I have six balls and not five. But then uh, this guy gives me the ball. I'm like, oh, I did have all seven or six. So I Jocko ship to the pedestal and I get working on the summon. So you depending on the situation, you might have wanted to wait for your dragon change to come back. That way you could take a couple uh, key blast hits 
Um, but here, I, you know, kind of assumed, that I was corrected, assuming that the Raider would be focusing the STM. And to be fair, in this situation, he absolutely wanted to, just because of how far along it is. Doesn't really have the time to abandon it. Yeah, I definitely didn't have resistance this game, because uh, as you can see, I'm not flying that fast at all. So I'm doing uh, the Raider, or Raider, uh, the jumps, the transfer jumps. Since I have a flowing device, I definitely got to spam it as much as I can. So here, I'm just trying to keep my distance. Don't want to take too much damage. Uh, I see he's working on the STM. He doesn't even didn't even get it to 25% yet, so we should be good here. I pop Vincent Rise just so I can avoid that move. Then I pop my super, and I believe we do land it. So we took a lot of the damage there. And now I just spam my uh, Kamehaha's to take out the Raider. Unfortunately, I think he does kill that player. I'm not really sure how he was able to get that in as I was spamming him in the mouth with a He Blast, but breakers be breaking sometimes. So here, I try to be careful just because if he gets a very quick uh, body change on me, we could potentially lose. So I grapple away just to make sure that doesn't happen. And I see that he's still chasing me. So I pop instant rise. And at this point, if he does go for the body change, I think we'll be fine. So I see him going for a melee. I uh, vanish kick him and I go for a super. And then he actually does go for the body, uh, body change. But since the STM is so far along, it really doesn't matter. So, uh, pretty much just got the funny, uh, Go- or, Ginyu, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, uh, or Super Saiyan Blue Goku, uh, victory here. So, so guys, that, just in case, uh, some of you have not seen that animation, look for my water, sorry, my yap water. So, we got the dub here, uh, pretty good, I mean, got the balls, key rushed this guy pretty decently, kept him in the lower levels, and that's pretty much, uh, what led us to winning this one. So let's see how much we are uh, ranked up from this game. Got all diamonds, and I actually did not um, rank up from this match. So uh, if you've watched the rank video or not, uh, folding of diamonds actually allowed me to rank up uh, in A, where um, here, God, bro, I, I clicked the button so goddamn damn fast. Sorry, give me a sec. I'm gonna get ready to pause this really quick. There we go. So yeah, I'm only A1 here. And uh, getting all diamonds, and keep in mind, uh, actually, I don't know if I took some L's of this game, but getting all diamonds was not enough to evolve, uh, evolve, rank up here. So uh, it is going to be a little bit more of a grind because this is only A ranking. Getting all diamonds actually didn't get me even out of A1. So keep that in mind. But uh, let's go uh, check out the uh, last game that I hear, uh, have here for you guys uh, rank wise. I just wanted to show you guys on uh, my build in case you were curious. Uh, still running Instant Rise, uh, Galactic uh, Patrol Ship here, and I was running Time Patrol's Duty. Uh, and Immortal Champion, so I think I took off Resistance and um, Memories of Battle here is essentially what I did. So for this game, uh, we went up against a B1 Frieza, and I actually had some other B players on the team, with I think the highest being um, A5 on the team. So, in case you guys were curious about that. Alright, it's a little uh, poetic to start the video on this map, and to uh, end the video on this map as well. Um, so this Raider... I think he just really, really struggled to get out of his level two, and we just got keys very quickly. If I'm remembering this match correctly, but um, I think after this game, I actually uh, went back to my like OG build of just running floating device, fake death, and instant transmission. But uh, I didn't hate this build. I didn't hate this build with the Jocko ship, um, instant rise, and grapple. It really felt versatile in terms of like being able to escape. Um, I mean, you could also equip something like uh, you could just take out instant transmission, equip rocket as well if you just want like a lot of escape options uh available to you because you, you could absolutely run something like that because uh in terms of evasive options i think those like jocko ship grapple rocket are probably going to be the best uh, but it's just that rocket isn't as good as it used to be just because they increased uh raider lock on speed so if you don't know when the raider is actually locked onto you their flight speed actually increases to uh, allow them to chase you better um, but if you are not locked on, um, they will be a little bit slower. So just to keep that in mind. But you if you're locked on uh, and you pop Instant Rise and Jocko Ship, it's really not going to matter. They would have to commit to that chase with like uh, a charge or just like literally follow you until they find you. But uh, if you Jocko Ship and Grapple, you probably should be escaping a majority of uh, your chases. But, you know, it depends how uh, adamant the Raider is in uh, hounding you down. <clears throat> So, uh, actually, I said this was a key rush game. I really would have considered this game a key rush game, considering the fact that we haven't gotten a single key in, like, two minutes, which, honestly, is probably how sh games should be going, but it's just, 
I don't know, key rushing is just so, I don't know, just such a common thing these days that it's honestly more uncommon not to be key rushed than the other way around. So at this point, everybody has a dragon change. We're actually doing fairly good on levels as well. So I'm kind of just looking around in Area C, seeing if we can find keys. But uh, I see this area is pretty covered in terms of people being in it. So I see if there's any supplies that I can nab up here. I think I grab a soda. Yeah, I grab a soda. Take out these boxes. Fortunately, I don't really get anything from them. But I think I get a thing of juice. Thank you. I get one thing of juice. Oh, that guy's rocking new uh, the Gohan skin. So here I think I head over to B. I'll just start working on the key. Yeah, as you can see, this Frieza is really, really struggling to um, get out of their level 1. And since I say that, they actually uh, just get their level 2. So at this point, uh, my game plan was to uh, start working on this key because we haven't really found many keys. And I don't think anybody else started on it, so I figured I might as well start the trend. But uh, as far as Dragon Changes, we're looking very good. We only have two level 2s on the team. Oh, I remember this game. <laughs> I remember this game. So we had a player here. Uh, now, if you guys have been playing Breakers for a long time or been playing Breakers uh, relatively recently, you might have run into a ball hog uh, in your experience. And unfortunately, in Dragon Ball the Breakers Season 5 and Rank Season 2, uh, or maybe the official first rank, because I think they called last season like preliminaries. This is like the first official rank season, right? We had a ball hog in this game, and I think they were level 200, uh, and they were being a ball hog. I, I swear to God. Um, and it was kind of throwing the game. Uh, to be fair, I also could have swallowed my pride and just gave him the balls later on. But uh, I, I really did not want this guy to be like, I don't know, rewarded for him being selfish. and Essentially like a baby, right? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I did what I did for the good of the team. But uh, we'll talk about that more uh, when that's like relevant in the match. So here we got two keys planted. Uh, we haven't found any other keys. I get a key radar though, which is pretty nice. And yeah, as you can see, we literally have all the balls right now. Right now we have all the balls. And this uh, Judy player, I believe their name is, um, just refuses, just absolutely refuses uh, to give uh, the, the player with six balls the, the rest of them. Like, he just refuses. So here I go over to Area E just to find the key. And I find it pretty quickly. It's beneath, uh, right beneath me. Yeah, so this uh, Judy player, I think he's like spamming stamps. Like, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They think they're being cute. Really annoying. I'm pretty sure I blocked them after this game. Just because, like, come on, bro. It's, it's not Season 1 anymore. I think, oh yeah, their name is like Jody something, but like, I don't know, bro. It's just like, really? Like, if you guys don't know, the unspoken rule in this game is, uh, well, there's two unspoken rules. If you have the most balls, the player with the least amount of balls has to give the remaining balls to you. It's just, it's just fair and square. Like, if you have more balls, you put in more work to find the balls. Who, like, how is it fair that the person that just found one gets to get the transformation, right? Of course, there's situations where, like, oh, maybe you have a dragon change and they don't. Yeah, like, look at this guy. Yeah, this Judy person. So stupid. Literally, like, for two minutes, these guys are, like, fighting around all over the balls. Or uh, the other rule is that I was going to talk about, uh, you know, if uh, someone does have more balls than you, but you do want to, like, fight for uh, the remaining. If you have the rock, paper, scissors emote and they want to play you... Um, you know, if they play you and then you win, they might give you the balls, right? That's like literally the only other case if you don't have the majority of the balls. Like, the only time uh, players should be giving up balls is if you have the dragon change and you need to defend and the other person doesn't. Um, or if you lose your rock, paper, scissors match, right? So this guy, I guess, gives me the balls because he's thinking, all right, Iron King is clouded. Maybe this Judy person will give him the balls since because of his clout. And uh, the clout meant nothing here. Cloud actually meant nothing. So I pop Jocko ship the gal here just so I don't have to waste much more information. I'm like, okay. Maybe this guy just had some beef with the other player. Surely this guy will give me the balls, right? Like, there's no reason why he wouldn't do it. And lo and behold, they're not giving the balls. They're shooting at me. I'm trying to select the emote to play rock, paper, scissors. They're shooting at me so much I can't even activate the emote. I get it. 
they don't care. <laughs> they don't care, bro. They don't care. So I'm like, fuck this guy. I'm not gonna let him, like, um, you know, be a little baby and, like, get the balls. I'm gonna see if we can win this game without them. Uh, unfortunately, I think I do end up caving just because, you know, as much as I would like to have this guy, um, you know, not be a little baby and be rewarded for being a little baby. But, uh, what they end up doing is that they have a level 2 transformation, by the way. It's not like they don't have D-Chains. They just sit in that corner of the map the entire game and do nothing. They don't even, like, go to res those other players. They just sit in that corner of the map. Because, uh, my hope was that this player would go in and actually play the game and get down and then I just take the ball. But this player is being such a cock uh, that they just sit where they are so that doesn't happen. So here I pop my chains just because I don't want to take damage here. Dodge the key blast. Get hit by Zarbon there, unfortunately. At this point, bro, I'm like, damn, dude. Like, this guy is really just sitting there with the last remaining ball. And at this point, I'm like, all right, dude. Well, like, am I really going to get down with all six just because this guy doesn't want to give me the last remaining one? So now this uh, Judy guy is like, oh, wow, the Raider's coming close. Maybe I'll start moving. I said, no, I think they're still hiding, dude. They're still hiding behind that rock like an asshole. This is season five, the first official ranked season of Dragon Ball The Breakers, by the way. And we still got players like this. Like, it's actually ridiculous. So, like, I gotta go in to defend. Like, I don't have time to give this guy the ball, so I think I just drop them. I know this guy got down by the supplies. So I get this soda. Unfortunately, I would like to rest this guy, but it's just, like, there's no time. I drop the balls for this fucking prick. And notice how they, they're like, Ooh, he dropped the balls! Like, immediately, bro. Like a fucking moth to a flame. Like, he's the main character. Fortunately, I get caught by a melee here, which is pretty bad. Gives me less time to stall. Get a vanish kick in, deal some decent damage. So, I think this Judy person, uh, does end up going for the balls. They take their sweet-ass time, though, I'd like to say. As soon as I get there, they grab it. I have my Jocko ship unlocked, which is pretty clutch in that situation. I like to point out that this Judy player uh, wasted their Dragon Chains just to get the summon off. Now, in this situation, it's definitely necessary. But I like to say that they had their transformation that entire time, and they opted to use it just to get the uh, the balls and the uh, level 4 here. So, they... Um, they become the level 4. And... Uh, Luckily, this person has a barrier. I think that barrier player just saved the game. And uh, luckily, the level 4 came in at the nick of time as well. And then I get hit by Mortal Champion. So we end up winning this game at the very least. But goddamn. Look at this Judy. Like, they're literally getting fucking bodied, bro. As well, like, they're shit level 4 too. Like, how do you get bodied that quick with that much time, like, up? <laughs> Luckily, we basically, like, spoon-fed this level 4 the victory. They got absolutely annihilated. They did jack shit. They did, like, one melee and nearly got killed within, like, 30 seconds of them being a level 4. What a fucking fantastic player. Truly a player of all time. Can't wait to match with them again. Uh, let's see how much we uh, ranked up from this match. Because so I think uh, I planted a good amount of keys. I don't know if I saved any sieves, but uh, did pretty well overall, I'd say so, for myself. So let's check out the medals that we got and the uh, evolution, or I keep saying evolution, the rank up here. So, uh, okay, I did not get full diamonds. I didn't get this since traveled, and I did rank up, but I actually did. Okay, so I got a little bit more than half there. Okay, so you do get a little bit of a rank up bonus when you actually rank up, meaning that they give you an extra boost so you don't rank down right after you ranking up. So if I got a full thing of diamond, I might have been a little bit over half there. But I immediately, in case you guys want to uh, block this player as well, if you don't want to deal with it, uh, they're actually an S1 player, which is quite sad uh, if you think about it. 
and I first reported them for sabotaging the game and playing selfishly because they absolutely were. And I blocked them because I never want to play with them again. And I hope they step on Legos. So that being said, boys, that is going to be uh, my first uh, set of matches for uh, Survivor Ranked. First official rank season, believe it or not, because last season was technically uh, the preliminaries. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below uh, how uh, your matches have been going for Survivors. Are you still dealing with ball hoggers? Are you noticing a significant, like, increase in uh, player quality or, like, teammate quality or uh, raider quality or just, like, competitiveness in the matches? Uh, do you not like rank because of the sweatiness that it kind of uh, incentivizes? Let me know in the comments below. Now, of course, rank just started. So uh, the fact that some people, uh, including a duty person, is already S is uh, kind of sweaty. Uh, they probably stink and smell like fire and dead uh, dead bodies and uh, old people and like the hospital section of... I'm sorry. Anyways, uh, that's going to be the video. Um, fuck Judy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, safe, have fun. Peace out, subscribe, uh, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.